All right, uh, my name is D.I. von Briesen. Some of you know me. And in this series of tutorials, we're going to talk about the Moodle Gradebook. Uh, this is a complicated topic, and you'll have to excuse me. I seem to have the hiccups, but the show must go on. Um, when Moodle reworked the gradebook somewhere around version 1.7, they put in a lot of new features. And there was one version where it was so bad that it actually didn't work properly. And then they made some fixes. And the end result is probably the most powerful gradebook that exists on the market. However, it's overly complicated in that power. Um, and so we're going to try and distill that into some simple basic guidelines that allow us to accommodate most users. Uh, specifically, uh, I would say 80 to 90 percent of all instructors want categories. They want to be able to show simple percentages or simple letter grades and they want to do weighting and extra credit. And anything other than that, for example, dropping the lowest grade or the highest grade or taking the mode or the mean or complicated formulas um, is probably the exception rather than the rule. And initially, we won't really go into that. So we'll start out by taking you to um, just a sample grade book. And when you click on the grades option under the um, administration block on the main Moodle course page, you'll get something like this. And over on the left, we have the people uh, who are enrolled in the course. And across here, we have the different assignments. And I use the word assignments um, in an open way to, sh to indicate these are just things that are graded. Um, whether it's an actual, an actual assignment in Moodle, or it's a quiz, or it's um, an offline assignment or anything like that. They're just graded items, so I'll call them graded items. And we see them across the top with no other kinds of organization. So the first thing I usually do when I'm managing the gradebook, not actually looking at grades or things, is go over to categories and items. And this allows me to get kind of a um, management view, if you will, for uh, the page. So over here we have the different graded items. We have course total at the top. That may be at the bottom. That's just a setting. You can change up here in settings. And so here we have the name of the, the activity that they had to do that was graded. Aggregation is a fancy word for how are we going to total these, right? So are we going to, to just total up the numbers? Are we going to take averages? Are we going to do other things like that? Um, and then the extra credit field is visible here because that's an option we've chosen. So I'm going to take it down to the simplest with it's just mean of grades. And you'll notice that as we do that, there is no more extra credit field. So we have the activity, the aggregation, the maximum grade, some of the actions we can do with those things, and then the selection option over here. So I just want to touch on this briefly and then uh, because I'm going to keep each of these tutorials short, once we've got familiar with this, I'll move on to some examples. So just to familiarize yourself, we have all these items in the top, the view. Give it a chance to open up. Takes us to where we started. So this is the default usually when you come into it, categories and items we were just looking at. Going to scales. Got a little bit of delay here. We can create custom scales. I'm not going to spend too much time on this just because, uh, again, these are the exceptions, not the rules. But you can have qualitative reviews like good, bad, not so great, as opposed to numerical scales. And the ones that Moodle has always had, the separate and connected ways of knowing, which I've never fully understood, but no worries. And then even here you have competency, fully competent, partially competent, not competent, which has some appeal actually. It's a, probably a little harder to deal with and won't let you do any math stuff. Letters, probably a pretty common one for people to work with. And so I've just simplified this to go from, you know, pretty much 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on. Those are set up to be a little more elaborate and you can take it further. And then the settings and preferences. So we'll go into these in a little more detail in the next recording.